This episode of the Golf Unfiltered podcast is brought to you by WorldwideGolfShops.com. Be sure to go out to WorldwideGolfShops.com for all of your equipment, apparel, and accessory needs. They've even got training aids. They've got all the great stuff from all the brands that you hear on our podcast every week. So once again, that is WorldwideGolfShops.com. You're listening to the Golf Unfiltered Podcast, your source for in-depth interviews with the biggest names, brands, and personalities in golf. Our mission, to keep you informed and help you enjoy the game even more. And now, the owner and host of the Golf Unfiltered Podcast, Adam Fonseca. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. This is the Golf Unfiltered Podcast, and I'm your host, Adam, from GolfUnfiltered.com. Follow us all over social at Golf Unfiltered. You could send me an email, Adam, at GolfUnfiltered.com. You know who we like to say hi to. Our friends over at the HackersParadise.com and, of course, our friends over at Cleveland, Strixon, and Zegzio. Let me tell you, I've still been playing uh, been playing around with these Zipcore wedges from Cleveland, and I've been talking about them the last few shows, and i got to say, I mean, these things are just absolutely fantastic. I was playing the CBX2 wedges prior to that. Needed a little bit more forgiveness. Got my wedge game in order. Proud to say that it became uh, probably one of my better uh, aspects of my game. And then I tried out these wedges, and holy cow, it just took it to another level. I'm, I'm hitting shots that I uh, wasn't very confident hitting before, but I'm actually, uh, I'm actually confident now. I'm, I'm playing very well out of the bunker. Sure has a lot to do with technique. I'm sure it does. But go out and try Zipcore as well, because these things are fantastic. Take it from me. Folks, today uh, we have a special guest. I wanted to kind of tiptoe, I guess, test the waters a little bit into uh, a little bit more golf instruction. I have a few guests on that, that talk a little bit more about not only just, just getting your game right, but getting your body right. Uh, we've got Thomas Melchow. He is the founder of a website called Trainfully. It's T-R-A-I-N-F-U-L-Y dot com. And I didn't know much about Thomas. I didn't know much about Trainfully prior to a uh, mutual friend, uh, David, thank you for doing that, uh, reaching out to us via social, trying to connect us to say, hey, why don't you guys talk on the show, talk a little bit about what Trainfully does. And so we did. And this actually came at a very timely uh, moment, at least in my golf season, because, you know, I'm I'm 38, going on to 38, and I'm experiencing uh, some soreness. (laughs) in my body that I hadn't felt before. And uh, one of which, of course, is uh, a golfer elbow. If you've had that, that's not any fun. (laughs) That's not any fun at all. Um, And so I'm dealing with that right now. But uh, a lot of the other aches and pains that I think we all feel have a lot to do with mobility or lack thereof. And so these next couple of guests, we're going to talk a little bit more about just biomechanics. We're going to talk about some some exercises and some tips that you can do at home to help get you a little bit more mobile and and prep your body uh, before you go out and ruin it <laughs> playing golf. <laughs> uh, but no, in all seriousness, it's really just a way to get you a little bit more flexible, a little bit more uh, you know, a little bit more strength in those joints that you really need to play the game well. And this is going to apply to anybody in any age group and skill level. Uh, as you continue to enjoy the game. So I'd also like to remind everyone, of course, to go out and listen to the other podcasts on our network. Off Course, starring Dan and Rob. Those guys want to get me back on the show. I don't know. I don't know. By the time this thing uh, gets released a couple weeks from now, maybe I would have appeared on their show again. I don't know. They just want to start trouble. I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't trust those two. (laughs) No, they got a great podcast. Go out and listen to that on the THP Podcast Network, as well as Range Days, which is a great uh, in-depth look at specific pieces of equipment that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. If you're a tech guy, go out and listen to that as well. But stay away from Rob and Dan. (laughs) They're the worst. At any rate, we're going to take a quick break here, and then we'll be right back with Mr. Thomas Malchow, the founder of Trainfully. Hope you enjoy it. Today's episode is also brought to you by the Ben Hogan Golf Equipment Company. No big hype, no big price, but definitely a big deal. Take advantage of their factory direct model where you cut out the middleman and get the best products shipped to your door direct from the company. They've got a demo program to try out their products before you buy, a trade up program to get these clubs in your hands even quicker, and special financing where you can split your payment into four to make these clubs even more affordable. Go to BenHoganGolf.com to learn more. 
That's right, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the show. And as I mentioned in the intro, these next couple episodes, I'm going to be speaking with specialists in the area of not only biomechanics, uh, but also just ways that you can improve your performance on the golf course and even off the golf course, especially now that we're all kind of stuck inside for many of us. Uh, and today we've got one of those experts on the show. His name is Mr. Thomas Malchow. He is the founder of Trainfully. And Thomas, thanks so much for uh, jumping on this afternoon. Well, thank you for having me on. So, uh, you know, I have to admit, Thomas, I hadn't really heard too much about Trainfully prior to a mutual friend of ours reaching out and getting us connected. Uh, for the listeners that want to learn more about Trainfully, how about you just let us know a little bit about how you started Trainfully and what your background is? Well, uh, my background is as a kinesiologist and a human movement specialist. So um, if we imagine a golfer moving through their swing sequence, um, if at some point during their swing they run into a restriction or a limitation in their body, they're going to have to compensate around that. And that mm -hmm. compensation will manifest itself as a swing flaw. So I specialize in identifying and removing the restrictions, limitations in the golfer's body that typically result in, in swing flaws and a decrease in performance. And Train Fully was founded to help bring that information to the general public. This is stuff that I've done quite a bit in the past over the last 20 years with um, Olympic and professional athletes in a lot of different sports. And, and we've decided to bring it to the golf world and bring it to the masses. As we all know, certainly listeners to this show know that body movement, biomechanics, kinesiology, like you mentioned, that's all important to keep us moving, especially as we play the game later in later years. So I'd imagine that many of your your uh, clientele probably span the gamut of their experience. Oh, absolutely. We have clients that are um, teenagers trying to get on tour. Uh, we have clients in their 70s and 80s trying to keep up their capacity so they can keep playing year round and play at their best. So when you speak with clients, uh, what is the normal way that that conversation begins? I mean, do they come to you for a specific reason, like rehabilitation from an injury or for another purpose? Uh, it, it comes from one of two different areas is either they have an injury that they've been struggling with or they're looking to get more out of their performance. And the interesting thing with those two avenues is it all comes back to the same sort of root focus is focusing on posture and focusing on movement. Uh, posture is the foundation of all our movements. So if we have good posture, we're going to have good movement and we'll have the essentials for a high performance golf swing. And we'll have reduced the wear and tear on our joints and connective tissues. So we'll be protecting ourselves against injury. So it all comes back to posture and movement. And so when you talk about posture, it, it goes beyond, I'd imagine, just standing up straight, right? Uh, absolutely. Yeah. So um, <laughs> I guess I'll throw out a, a definition here. I consider posture to be the independent and interdependent alignment of and relationship between our muscular system, our skeletal system, and our nervous system. So we have to have those three subsystems lined up and working functionally and working properly in order for us to have good posture and for us to move efficiently and accurately. And that balance that you're talking about, I uh, speaking from experience, uh, you know, I've had my fair share of injuries probably caused from a bad golf swing every so often. Golfers have a tendency to really overcompensate for swing flaws. Is that something you see a lot? Absolutely. So uh, usually, so if we break down the golf swing into it's really just a combination of joint actions, right? Mm -hmm. And we know what those joint actions are. So a swing flaw is simply a specific compensation around a specific joint. So if we know what the joint is, if we know what joint is affected or joints are affected, and we know what the compensations are, then we can easily identify the tissues involved. And then we can create a corrective strategy to remove that compensation and improve the swing, which not only improves the performance, but also improves the health of the joints and the health of the person in general. So when you do speak with your clients and you mentioned that they're either usually recovering from an injury or they want to see a boost in performance, I think most of us, when we think of a boost in performance, it's either I want to hit the ball straighter or more accurately, or they want to hit the ball further. Is that pretty consistent with what you see? Absolutely. It's um, distance obviously is something that everybody's 
going after and and um the the big focus with the distance is people trying to get club head speed right and mm -hmm. and but if we take a look at the impact conditions that cause the golf ball to go far what we're really trying to do is sustain the line of compression right and, and in order to sustain the line of compression we have to do two main things we have to hit the sweet spot over and over and over and over again and we have to accelerate through impact well, if we're going to hit the sweet spot over and over and over again, then we have to have a very consistent and repeatable swing, which means we don't want to have, you know, preferably no compensations, but the fewer compensations, the better. Mm -hmm. So if we don't want any compensations in our swing, then we can't have any compensations in our movement. So that then comes back again to working on our posture and making our movement efficient. So that's one area to hit the sweet spot. The second area is... Uh, accelerating through impacts. So we're talking about the rate of the change of the velocity of the club head. Mm -hmm. This is where things kind of get interesting and where people's opinions start to differentiate a little bit. Um, a lot of people focus on strength in order to accelerate the club head. And that's certainly a variable that does play a role, but it's not actually the most important variable. Where I like to focus my attention on, and again, this is something that I've been doing with Olympic and professional athletes for many, many years, and I know that this works, is we focus on a neuromuscular reflex called reciprocal inhibition. Mm. Okay, so reciprocal inhibition inhibits opposing muscles during movement. An example would be if I were to try and straighten my elbow to straighten my arm, I contract my triceps, mm -hmm. but I also have to relax my biceps. And that contract relax relationship is governed by reciprocal inhibition. The more finely tuned that companionship is, the more finely tuned that reciprocal inhibition is, the faster and more accurately I can move my elbow. And this is occurring around all our joints. If people feel like sometimes it feels like their body is working against them. They can't get into certain positions. It's quite often a result of altered reciprocal inhibition. As they're trying to rotate a joint, they're contracting a muscle on one side to rotate the joint. It's, it's buddy on the other side isn't relaxing. And so you're not getting full range of motion. So that's where I focus my attention on is, is in particular around the ball and socket joints, the hips and the shoulders, and we work, work our way out from there. That's, that's really interesting because – as I was learning the game growing up, I played baseball and I was, you know, trying to make that jump from baseball to this new sport and moving my body in a similar manner, but almost like opposite <laughs> to what I had learned playing baseball. And what you just said really rang true because it's almost like I had to, I guess this is what they call muscle memory. I had to retrain my body to move in a certain way. But where does positive reinforcement come into play? Like I can move my body in a certain way, but if that ball's not doing what I want it to do, I'm probably going to try to make a compensation. Yeah, and usually, but it comes back to there's a compensation somewhere. And so the nervous system is an amazing thing. If we think about how fast the golf swing occurs, if we're talking like a split of a second, right? Mm -hmm. Like very, very short amount of time. The nervous system can tell if you've, if it needs to compensate in order for you to, to hit the golf ball correctly. So an example would be um, early extension, right? A lot of different things can cause early extension. One of the most common causes is actually not enough depth in the backswing are not able to maintain that depth during the downswing. And as a result, the nervous system will very quickly set off a recruitment pattern that makes you stand up so you can adjust hmm. for that steep downswing that was a result of not enough depth. So when we're talking about, positive reinforcement, you know, when we're dealing with changing somebody's swing or improving their performance, quite often you have to tell them, I don't want you to worry about what happens with the ball. I don't even care if you hit it flush, if you hit it, if you hit it, um, if you chunk it, it doesn't matter. We're focusing on the swing and then we deal with the ball flight after that. So we try to take with golf, especially we try to take that positive reinforcement out for a little while and just tell them, don't worry about ball flight. That makes sense to me because I think golfers get too fixated on – this is going to sound silly because it's the point of the game, but they get too fixated on where that ball's going as opposed to developing a repeatable movement. Would you agree? Absolutely. Absolutely. And it makes sense because, I mean, we're out there trying to navigate our way around 18 holes – and if the ball flight isn't what we want it to be on hole number one, we're already making adjustments at right. hole number two, 
right? So it's kind of the nature of the game. It's it's survival of the fittest out there on the golf course. So it's part of the skill of being a golfer is being able to make those adjustments. But you want to remove or take away as many of those adjustments that you tend to need to make. You need to remove those as much as possible. And those adjustments are made because you have to compensate around things. And this can change from day to day. Like mm. there's people out there listening right now and you can see the guys even on tour. Sometimes they're playing like amazing and they're just hitting the ball flush every time and everything's occurring the way that you want it to do. Well, on that particular day, your body was moving properly. Why was your body moving properly? Well, because you had good posture going into the game, going into the round. Posture is a dynamic thing that can change from day to day, can change throughout the day, depending on what your habits are. If you're sitting, if you've been slouching, you're going to change your posture, you're going to change your recruitment patterns, and you're going to change your performance for that particular day. Yeah, that, that makes a lot of sense to me. And I know that a lot of uh, listeners to this will benefit from the messages that you convey in Trainfully. And folks, if you go out to trainfully.com and it's trainfully.com, uh, you know, Thomas, one of the things you mentioned is making the movement efficient. And would you say that the benefit of making it efficient is because it's more easily repeatable in the future or, or talk a little bit more about that? Yeah. So the reason we want to make the movement efficient is because, and we're going to get into why don't we just break down a postural dysfunction? If we sure. spend a lot of our day sitting, we end up with this forward head posture, okay? And this forward head posture has rounded shoulders and, and a hunched upper back associated with it. And one of the issues with that posture is it pulls our thoracic spine into flexion. Hmm. And, when our, and when our spine gets pulled into flexion, it changes the way the facet joints, these are the joints on either side of our spine that connect the spine together, changes the way those facet joints line up. And the surfaces of the joint, the bony surfaces don't line up correctly. And this changes the way they move past each other it increases wear and tear on the joint and it reduces our mobility. It's called arthrochromatic dyskinesis. Hmm. So if we've been spending a lot of time sitting and we've adopted this forward head posture, then we're going to have reduced thoracic spine mobility. We're going to head out to the golf course. We're going to have this flexed thoracic spine. We're going to have reduced thoracic spine mobility. We're not going to make enough rotation in our backswing and we're going to be compensating. We're going to end up swinging over the top. We're going to end up with a steep downswing. And our swing is going to be changed or our striking will be changed because of the fact we just spent all day sitting. Right. Right. And the same sort of thing happens around our hips too. We spend a lot of time sitting. The muscles that cross in front of our hips become tight. They become adaptively shortened. And when muscles become adaptively shortened, they generally become overactive. And this changes. This is called altered length tension relationship in the muscle. When a muscle's length tension relationship changes, it becomes weaker becomes slower, becomes less coordinated. And if we ex expand on that, if the muscles that crossed in front of our hip have become shortened, that means the muscles behind our hip have become lengthened. Right. So the hip extensors have become lengthened because we've been sitting all day. And when muscles become lengthened, they become inhibited or underactive. Well, the primary hip extensor is the gluteus maximus. Mm -hmm. So if you spent all day sitting and then you head to the golf course, well, you're heading to the golf course with an inhibited gluteus maximus, which is the king of the golf swing. So you're going to have hmm. a compensatory pattern in your golf swing to adjust for the fact that your glutes are underactive. Maybe your upper body will dominate the swing that day and you're going to have all sorts of issues because of that. So yeah, the, the posture changes the way we move. We want to improve our posture because it makes us stronger it makes us faster and it makes us more coordinated. So strength, Quickness, coordination, these are elements that any golfer would benefit from. Even as you're talking, I'm sitting here and I'm trying to sit up straighter. <laughs> because <laughs> I feel it in myself. Um, yeah. But now it's, it's kind of tough nowadays. It's tough always, but it's more tough these days, especially with quarantine. You know, I know a lot of states are in different areas of, you know, how active they are. But what could listeners do right now? And then we'll get into a little bit more about how Trainfully specifically can help. But what, what are some things that listeners should keep in mind as they're sitting down at their desk, if they're working from home or just maybe on the couch? Well, the first thing is I recommend going to my Instagram page, at Elastic Golfer. Mm -hmm. um, I have a ton of free resources on there, things that I recommend people do to remove the restrictions that interfere with the golf swing. 
Um, the big thing I always recommend people do, and this is a little bit harder to do now, is, is try to get up every 15 minutes, half an hour, even if you just stand up for 30 seconds, standing up and moving around every 15 to 30 minutes will ensure that the hip flexors don't become too short and don't become overactive. And that will help with the activity of the glutes. So it'll keep the tonicity in the glutes. Okay. Another thing is I recommend people stretch their chest because we sit and we work at a desk and we're on a computer all day. The muscles that cross in front of our shoulder joints, they become tight. And these are some of them are our chest muscles. And these are the muscles that internally rotate our shoulder joint. And so they're going to reduce our ability to externally rotate. It's going to reduce, again, if we're talking about the trail shoulder, it's going to reduce the depth and the rotation in our backswing. So I, I recommend people either in a doorway, just get their arms up on a doorway, just stretch their chest, or even lay down flat on the ground, put your hands behind your head and just try to let your elbows drop down to the floor, expand and stretch those muscles in the chest. And that will improve the posture in your upper body. It's going to improve the movement, the speed and coordination of your upper body during your, during your swing, which will improve your performance. Um, another stretch I recommend is a hip flexor stretch. Mm -hmm. There's nine, depending on how we break them up, between nine and 11 muscles in the hip flexor complex. And we spend so much time sitting, these guys tend to become really tight, become really short and really overactive. And it sets off a lot of compensatory patterns around our hips, around our pelvis and around our low back that don't only just interfere with our swing, but our well-being. I mean, it's main cause of low back pain and hip pain and all sorts of things. So a kneeling hip flexor stretch where people can um, like, uh, actually, you know what, I'm going to put videos on my Instagram page so people can refer back to the page rather than trying to figure out this stuff as I'm describing them. But a kneeling hip flexor stretch will go a long way in improving the length tension relationships of the muscles around the hips and improve their performance and improve their health. And, and once again, listeners, that Instagram page you want to go check out is at Elastic Golfer. And if you go there now, you'll see a lot of videos that are currently up there from Thomas. And he's explaining a lot of different stretches, a lot of different strength moves, it looks like, as well as a lot of different ways that it could benefit your golf swing. And so Thomas is, we kind of transition a little bit specifically into Trainfully. How is it structured and how does it work? So... This is, these are the actual programs that I use with professional golfers to enhance uh, their performance. This has been developed over the course of 20 years, working with world-class athletes. Um, Train Fully consists of 20 routines. They're follow-along routines. You can play them from any device that are designed and organized to remove the restrictions and limitations in the golfer's body that tend to interfere with the golf swing. These routines will enhance your coordination and they'll make your swing faster and more accurate. And um, what we've done is we created a discount code for the listeners. Ooh. If they en enter golf unfiltered at checkout, they will receive the actual program that we use with professional golfers for $40. Oh, wow. Wow. That's a huge discount. <laughs> yeah. These are tough economic times and we want to make sure that, you know, people, one of the few things people can do right now is golf. And uh, I think it's really important to try to get people out there and, you know, everybody's sitting at home. We want to make sure people, are able to take care of their bodies. Wow, that's incredibly generous, Thomas. And, and so once again, listeners, go out to trainfully.com. Again, it's T-R-A-I-N-F-U-L-Y.com. And if you go and pick up the program and enter the code Golf Unfiltered, you'll get the entire program for $40, which is something like a 75% discount. That's that's incredible. And it's you're right, Thomas. There's no better time than now to really start taking care of your body because I'd imagine that these benefits – filter over not only from your golf game, but into your everyday life. Oh, absolutely. And we were talking about, you know, your, the joint or the health of your joints and the, the postural dysfunctions that occur throughout your body, they pull your joints out of alignment, changing the way like sitting causes the hip joint to get pulled into what's called anterior superior migration, mm. which causes the bony surfaces of the femoral head and the acetabulum this is the ball and socket. Mm -hmm. causes those bony surfaces to grind against each other, increases wear and tear, um, and can cause a lot of pain. It reduces your mobility too. If you're having issues with, um, with a, say, a slide or hanging back, usually that's a compensation for not enough hip internal rotation. So these programs, they address 
your muscular imbalances. They address your skeletal system imbalances and your nervous system imbalances to pull those joints, make them congruent, get them rotating correctly and help you move and feel better. Something that's really impressive, not only about the program itself, because that's just impressive in and of itself, but the, the testimonials that are located on your website you know, people are saying that this is the programs have become a part of their life. And what are some of the other benefits that your clients have reported to seeing, not only in their golf game, but but elsewhere? Uh, well, the, the thing that I think most people are surprised from, and this would be for golfers that are probably a little bit lower handicap, you know, they're quite skilled and they know how to swing a golf club. They know what they need to do. They know what positions to get into, but their body is holding them back. And once those restrictions and limitations are removed in their body and they can get into those positions that they've been trying to get into the whole time, their performance just goes through the roof. I mean, I just got a, a text message from one of the one of the, the people that purchased the program. He's in his 60s. Hmm. He's now hitting 300-yard drives. I mean, hmm. this is a good golfer who used to do that when he was younger, but he hasn't been able to do that for a while. He thought it was because he's getting older, but it's because his body was just restricting him. And so that boost in performance is something that surprises a lot of people. Um, the reduction in pain, we get a lot of people who are suffering from low back pain who some of them can't even play or they can play maybe one round and then have to take a couple of weeks off. And they're under the assumption that this pain is some sort of huge, serious um, sort of anatomical problem. And sometimes it is a, a pretty big problem, but the, res the reason you're having this pain or the reason you have this issue is because of imbalances. And once we remove those imbalances and we get the facet joints and the discs and your spine lined up correctly, then the pain can go away. And then for some people, it goes away rather quickly. And that's surprising to people is how much their capacity to play improves. And if your capacity to play improves, then you can play more often. You can play better because you're practicing and playing more. Uh, people, it makes a huge impact in their life. Something I do hear from listeners to this show, they'll say, you know, I, I want to get back what I once had. And it, it's important to know that that's possible to do if I'm understanding what you're saying. Absolutely. The reason our performance decreases and the reason we get pain as we age is because of bad habits. And as we get older, we've been doing these bad habits for longer. And so they have a bigger influence on our movement and on our health. And we just think this is a normal part of aging. It's not. It's because you've been sitting in a chair now for how you know, say you're 60 years old. You've been working at a desk now for 40 years, perhaps. Right. And it's caught up to you. But we can easily remove the restrictions that are causing the issues that you're experiencing. This is not a normal part of aging. You can get your life back and you can get your performance back. That's incredible. And so once again, listeners, that is Mr. Thomas Melchow. He is the founder of Trainfully. Go out to trainfully.com and as we just talked about a little bit ago, at checkout use discount code golf unfiltered, all one word, and you'll get an incredible deal for $40. You get the entire program, which is 20 uh, videos. It's uh, direct support from Thomas and his team. And Thomas, you know, uh, I'm sure we could talk a lot about this in the future and we will definitely have you back on at, as a follow up episode. But before we let you go, what are some just final things for listeners to keep in mind if they're trying to determine if this is right for them? They will, they know they need to do something, but what puts them over the edge? Um, well, first thing is reach out to me. Reach out to me on Instagram. Reach out to me um, uh, by email um, through the website. And I'm more than happy to talk to people. I love connecting with people. If you're having you know, issues with pain or something like that, and you're not sure this is for you, reach out to me, I'll talk you through it. And we'll see if it is it, it, it all it, we can always make adjustments to the thing. That's another thing too, is the team and I were here to make this as um, personalized and customized as possible. And so for some people, we have to change and make some adjustments in the routines. And so I'd encourage people to reach out for me uh, reach out to me and, and, and see about that. Another thing is tr try some of the techniques that are on the Instagram page. Mm -hmm. Try some of those things. They're short routines, usually two or three things that I recommend per video and see how it makes you feel. I'm pretty, I'm pretty certain that it's going to make you feel better. It's going to make you move better. And, and that could be encouraging. 
I believe it is, and I'm going to try a few out uh, as soon as we're done here too, Thomas. So uh, once again, the uh, the Instagram uh, account that you want to follow is at Elastic Golfer. The website is trainfully.com. Uh, Thomas, once again, folks, this is a this is a guy that has worked with professional athletes, Olympians, and you have the opportunity to take advantage of an incredible deal by going out to the website trainfully.com and using that discount code. Golf Unfiltered. Thomas, thanks so much for coming on. I'm sure we will talk again soon. Well, thank you for having me.